Okay. Viewers all over the world. My name is Evelyn Sibina from Serue. Serue is in Botswana. Yeah, I've been experiencing so many problems. In 2015, we heard that uh, uh, Apostle Makanani will be coming to the wing. We went there with my husband, Mr. Topo Douglas Sibina. And when we got there, because we had a lot of problems, he looked at my husband and said, you are, you are sick, but God wants to heal you. By then, my husband could not walk long distances without using a walking stick. Uh, we had drilled a borehole. It was now four years without getting water from the borehole. And the apostle said, there is this borehole. You are, you are just about to lose hope that there isn't water within the borehole. But I, I'm telling you that there is water, plenty of water within the borehole. As I speak, that borehole is running. It has plenty of water. It started, uh, we started getting the water from this borehole 2020. But the borehole was drilled somewhere around 2013. Yeah. And then, after praying for my husband, you know, I couldn't even realize it. Because every time, even if we had to take a journey, we, ha all, we were supposed to have a working stick within the vehicle. In each of our homes, we had a working stick so that every time the working stick could be available. Without me noticing, one day when we were going from Mahalape to Serue, when we were about to go out of the gate, I said, ah, we have forgotten the working stick. And my husband looked at me to say, why a working stick? I said, ah, I think you always need a working stick. He said, don't you realize that uh, I'm at least uh, a month without using a, a working stick? And I was surprised. Since then, up to now, even though my husband is at old age, he's now 78 years, He's not even, he's, since then, he's not using a working stick. I, we had to put those working sticks aside. The borehole is giving us uh, plenty of water. We are using the water to, uh, to, for our livestock. Yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, 2016, I went to Tembisa. I was experiencing a lot of problems for my family. My siblings, most of them, they died out of HIV AIDS. And I was worried because I felt sick. As we were remaining, we were four. I, I, when I looked at everybody else, I felt ah, this thing is going to kill almost all, all of us. Then I, I went to Charis, Tembisa. When I got there, I, I, I had one-on-one -on -one with the prophet Makananisa. He said, we have so many problems. But what I will do, I will pray for you for your healing. Indeed, he just uh, he did not deliver me. He prayed for me. I went back. Uh, in fact, after that time, I felt my health coming back. I was in good health since then, and I was happy. I said, ah, "This is a real, a true prophet of God." When we waited, it was so painful for us because, in fact, uh, where our land is. We wanted to start a farming, commercial farming. We wanted to use the water from the borehole for farming, for watering. We had uh, goats, we have uh, cattle. We wanted to, to, to use this water for these animals. But it means that now everything was becoming hectic for us because we have to rely on buying water. That will be, We bought water from other people for all these years. Uh, but it's not like we couldn't, we did not believe that there is water after he told us. We strongly believed on it. So we delayed equipping the, we were delayed because we did not have enough money for equipping the, the borehole. Then as time goes on, we managed to get some money and we said, ah, let us equip the, bo the borehole. We equip the borehole only to find that now there is water. And we have so very thankful for God to have given this water because without water there isn't, there isn't life. Now I think uh, with God, because uh, I'm somebody who really prays. I keep on praying, even if I go for like I've come here, but uh, I live the life of a woman who is praying. Uh, well, my husband could not be praying same as I do, but uh, now I strongly believe in praying. So I think patience is good in, uh, if you know how God works, 
You cannot lose patience. You can't lose patience. You just wait until God speaks. When I sat in front of the man of God, I said, when I look at you, I, looked, I look at a blessed woman. I said, yes, indeed, I'm blessed. I believe I'm blessed. Because I really am coming from a very, very poor family. Uh, it's not nice to be in a poor family. And uh, when I looked at the situation, I felt, ah, I don't think this is what God can do to us. I think it's something else. Maybe the devil is working against us. So I told myself I'll dwell on God. I told myself I always work extra hard. I'll work, I'll do what I can, ta I, I can do to change the situation. And I think God answered me. Hey. So prophet told me that I'm looking at a blessed woman. And then she, he said, uh, where is your, your phone? I said, ah, my phone is on the back under that tree. He said, I want that phone because I can see that people are taking your husband. I want to pray to him. Yeah. I want the photo of your husband so that I can pray to him because it's like his people, they don't want him to have a family. Yeah. Um. Mm. Then he said, I can see a plot. There is this plot. What is this plot all about? And I nearly forgot. I, I immediately remembered that yeah, he's talking about a farm. Mm. I have a farm. And I told him that my intention is to retire next year. Yeah, retirement age is 65, but next year I'll be 56. I, uh, I have started to, to feel that, no, I have to, I'm a teacher, a secondary teacher. I started to feel that, ah, it's high time, I no longer want to continue with teaching. But I strongly have a feeling that if I go into farming, I cannot go wrong. So he has just proved it, proved it to me to say that I should continue because he sees that farming giving me life. So what I've been thinking, what uh, I felt, as long as he has, say, he has just uh, said it, hey. he said it all and he said what I know. So he's a true man of God. Before then, he even talked of, when I told him about uh, all these things, he said I should have given a, a testimony. I said, uh, yesterday I was like, I felt like uh, standing up to give a testimony, but because I don't know the procedures of the, this church properly, I felt since some of these things have happened to me some years back, in fact, I could have come here by 2020, but because of COVID issues, I agree everything was locked down. So I couldn't come, and now I felt, ah, Maybe this has happened long, a long time ago, but I, I felt I could have just given a testimony. And he said, ah, you have a testimony. Well, and I will say that, uh, you know, Charis, there is Charis TV. People can watch Char Charis TV. Uh, people are get delivered when they we come here. I'm one of them, those who are delivered. The pastor will always pray for you. People of this church, they are always welcoming people. And if you feel you are here, you feel highly welcome. You cannot feel frightened of anything, which means, uh, not to me, I believe this is a, a, a true church of God. Yeah.